Hey guys, this is Toro. Today we've got some very interesting things, some confirmation for the more web warriors, some uh, talking about magic and magic's release method, which I find very, very interesting. Uh, and then also just a quick little bit about Tadano Mac. So this is meant to be the blog for tomorrow, which means that we're very likely to get a strike time tomorrow, uh, given the fact that it says about the web warrior abilities, I assume we're going to get a reveal for both Spider Punk and for uh, Scarlet Spider. You can see those guys down here. It hasn't been completely confirmed who it is yet or anything along those lines, but this basically confirms more Web Warriors coming. Um, we obviously had the reveal already for Gwen, uh, and even in Gwen's passive, it says about having, uh, chucking out energy to a whole lot of spider... <laughs> Sorry, I'm still sick. Um, attacking out uh, ability energy to five uh, web warriors on spawn and stuff. So that means that most likely that's going to be definitely the new web warriors there. And this is pointing towards it. Like it's stuff we already knew. We already knew that. We already knew there was more coming. But strike time tomorrow, most likely, especially because it says web warriors. Um, I mean, it could just be referring to the Spidey rework at Miles rework, but I really doubt that. Upcoming Mojo's Mayhem season, we data mined that yesterday with the teal gear going in there. Now, a few people brought it up to me that it doesn't actually list who the character is going to be. So they may be transitioning these uh, RTA passes away from characters and more towards gear and a costume. So having like gear going through it and then uh, having just the costume and no characters kind of combined with it. Uh, I think that a lot of people kind of complained this time around about Cyclops being in there because Cyclops obviously is pretty useless to most people. Uh, so having that kind of replacing those older characters in there uh, with gear, I assume will mean that some more people will buy it. Who knows? Um, I, I guess, what do you guys think? Do you, would you rather have more gear in there and not old characters if they're kind of tying into the costumes or what would you like to see in there? Um, the th thing is that the costumes are always going to be on the paid kind of side as well, which means that adjacent to that will be uh, most likely kind of uh, like not character shards, but um, gear then instead of character shards. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, we've also got the Dark Dimension 5 first finisher. Obviously, that was Tadano Mac. Amazing job, man. He he finished it so quickly. Um, unfortunately, not revealing who the characters are that he chose or anything like that. But I believe he only had a week to be able to choose them, which means most likely he's chosen them already. Most likely, that's why we got Death Pool into premium orbs because he's chosen Death Pool. But uh, I guess that's kind of up in the air. All right, now we've got Magic's release method. Now, this is saying that she is going to be a part of the Seasons Sorcery event, which is very interesting because this is not the way that they show event campaigns. Every time they have event campaigns, it's like, recruit her in the upcoming event campaign. This is for Death Bull, obviously, um, and what the requirements are and everything. And that was very similar to what we had for Cersei, basically the same. Um... So she's not going to be an event campaign, which means the first character of the patch is not an event campaign for the first time in ages, and instead it's just a milestone character. Again, this is not going to be like, um, this is not going to be her in the strike pass or anything like that. She just looks to be, um, looks to be like a, uh, a milestone character rather than kind of the strike pass or anything. This also is confirming reworks to uh, at least Cyclops and Storm, allowing them to use their ab ultimate abilities quickly, uh, which uh, like I assume that's what's confirming here. Um, it doesn't... <laughs> <clears throat> sorry um it, like for cyclops he's basically fully charged by his turn one anyway like he, sorry his turn two when he's able to use his ultimate anyway storm obviously uh here being able to use her ultimate quickly she already has that available turn one so who knows um this to me at least is semi-confirming the comfort uh the reworks to the uncanny characters but i might be reading too much into it at least in my opinion it is. But this is interesting that the first character of the patch is not going to be the event campaign like it has been for ages. Like Cersei was, Silver Samurai was, Deathpool was, Sharon Carter was, File of Alan Kestrel. All of those guys, first characters released in the patch got to put in it uh, got put into the um into the event campaign so that means that most likely gwen becomes the event campaign or uh it might not be until like spider punk or something like that keep in mind that's like a, it's just like a two-month patch so they could do the event campaign at any point during those two months um 
who knows? It, it's very interesting, I find. Uh, there's also two different traits that we found. There was Resolute, and then there was uh, Rebel. Rebel was on uh, on Gwen, while Resolute was on uh, Miles. So one of those two is going to be most likely the event campaign thing, but... Who knows? Uh, I, I'm very interested to see what ends up happening in this event and everything like that. Uh, obviously, earning magic shards, most likely similar to either the Eternal Connections one that we've got going on at the moment. I'm hoping it's more similar to Lady Deathstrike or Shang-Chi events. Both of those were amazing. I think a really great kind of event. And given the fact that it's said to be like, it looks like it to be like a semi Christmas event. Um, I'm really hoping that it's kind of generous instead of like this Thanos giving one that we got and everything. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like they're going to be addressing all the issues at the moment. Uh, nothing kind of in there about addressing those issues, but alas, um, hopefully we can kind of keep the pressure on them and let them know. Um, but that's it for today, guys. I'd love to hear from you guys again, what you think about these, uh, what you think the Web Warriors abilities are going to be to start with, what you think about that new Mojo's Mayhem pass, and um, what you think of Magic's release method as well. But that's it for today. Have a great day. Goodbye. <laughs>